Okay, so, uh, yesterday, I had this great fucking idea. I had this great fucking idea. I should make a damn flashlight, right? Because, like, I have this thing, which is a flashlight. Um, see, at the moment, the white light is on, but, uh, the red light will come on in... Like two hours. Um, the red light will come on in about two hours. I have this little work light up here. Um, but uh, at some point, I was trying to fucking. I believe it's in here. I don't know exactly where in here, but I'm pretty sure it's in here. Here it is. I was trying to fucking. Figure out the goddamn forward voltage of this LED so that I could properly fucking resistor it. Um, because here's my entire collection of resistors that aren't, like, being used. I... I think that I don't have any resistors because fucking... I, like, they just end up, like, on the floor and then, like, being vacuumed up or some shit. This is, I, this is all of my resistors. Two 10Ks, which are fucking useless. Uh, and, and then two 220s and one 330. It's ridiculous. Um, but, you know, I so I fucking Googled how the fuck to do that. And it's like, oh, yeah, go over to the, your diode setting and fucking hit it. Hit it. Um... Of course, it, this this thing doesn't have any batteries in it right now, um, because it takes fucking nine volts, and I never have nine volts because I don't use them for anything but this thing. Um, and so at some point, I was like, you know, I I have I have this thing right, which is just a nine volt battery to DC jack. And I was like, you know, I need this, but in reverse. And I was like, you know what, I fucking have the parts to do that. So, I fucking drilled out this hole, and by the way, this is like... Um, you know what, actually, uh... Uh... Okay, so, uh, apparently it's just slightly over half an inch. Which makes sense, because the... It's got a little lip on it. Um... And, and so you need a half inch hole to stick this thing in and then it's got an, uh, uh, a nut on the back of it which you can see in there because as you can see this hole is not fucking half inch uh, because my biggest drill where's my drill god my biggest fucking drill bit uh, came in fuck it, I'm not looking for it uh, this is my biggest drill bit and it's five sixteenths wait Wait a goddamn minute. Yeah, I had to think about the math for a second. So yeah, it's it's like it's like slightly over uh, a quarter inch. <laughs> Still got the red plastic in it. Uh, and, and this is my biggest fucking drill bit. And you know, I need a fucking half inch hole. Probably a little bit less than a half inch, but whatever. Maybe like seven sixteenths. And I don't have that fucking drill bit. So instead, what I have to do is fucking drill out a five sixteenths hole, and then just kind of like angle you back and forth. And, and, like, push to the side and, and fucking try to get a bigger hole that's uniform to the size that I need with the wrong fucking drill bit. Which is, as you can see, not entirely the easiest thing in the world. Okay? It, like, it's not right. In fact, if you push on this hard enough and jostle it enough, it'll go right through the hole. It's too big even for the lip uh, in every dimension. Um, but... It, you know, it just manages, there's, if you, like, slot it in just right, it'll stay there enough that it's usable. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, so the, yeah, so this no longer takes 9-volt batteries, it takes a 9-volt DC jack, which I have over here. Alright, and, and so, you know, this, this is not powered. Right, and, and then and then you come around here and you fucking plug in your nine volts DC, and now it's powered. 
and I can fucking turn on the backlight without it fucking yelling at me about the low goddamn battery because there's no fucking battery. It's just fucking nine volts all day long. So, so, so that's, that's cool. Um, but the real trick here, like, okay, number one, if I still wanted to use this as a battery device because, you know, nine volt batteries, you know, I, I mean, they're, they're not expensive. It's, I just never fucking have them. Um, and, you know, a multimeter, you want it to, you know, have battery, uh, except when you're, like, at a desk. Well, number one, again, I have, I have this thing, so I could just fucking, I could fucking, fucking plug it in, and then, and then battery dongling off. Um, but that's also stupid. So, uh, as it turns out, if I pop it the rest of the way out, uh, I didn't pre pre plan this to be slightly popped out. Uh, it's just that it doesn't actually pop in correctly anymore uh, because it's hard to find uh, a half inch cylinder of space in this device. Uh, it's it's uh, you know it's basically only down here and only in this area which like holds my finger tightly. Um, you gotta be up against this and against this. And the trick, of course, is that, uh, in, in the back housing, right, this, this, uh, fucking lip here goes inside of here, so you're actually, you can't come right up to the edge, which I made that mistake, fucking hot glued to the side here, which interfered with the other piece, and so I had to fucking break that off. What the hell just, oh, the 9-volt battery thing. Um... Uh, and as you can see, again, it, it is not, the hole is way too big, um, it's bad, um, but, and, and so you gotta deal with this, which you have no reference for, it's the whole fucking thing, um, but the best part here, right, you got this 9 volt, uh, wait, right, 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 so you got, some, you got the 9 volt, right, and, and you got the negative and the positive, and then over here you got the negative and the positive, and you just kinda, put it there is what you're kind of expected to do except no you're not what you're expected to do is put it in here All right and then and then when this slots in let me deal with this and as you can see right there's now no no cord in it but it's now on and displaying the low goddamn battery indicator because the 9 volt is in it, right? And then if you pop it back out, oh my god, the 9 volt just kind of fucking pops out because it's in there pretty pretty tight with those the springy, you know, strips of metal. Um, and so, you know the 9 volt just fucking it just sits in there, and you slide these in to the left there, and and and. These are like springs, and they go over here. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, I don't know what that's for. Or that, it might be like a beep. Oh, you know, that's totally the beep. It's totally the beeper. Um, it looks like a beeper. I don't know why it's fucking spring connected to the back. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, so the... So, yeah, the 9-volt goes in there. But... Uh, I mean, these are springy whatever the fucks, so instead of a 9-volt, I have, right, this, this, uh, DC socket. I just got the red and the black, you can't see the red because it's heat shrinked, but got the red and the black, positive and negative, coming up here, and then there, and then it's like, the, the wires are kinda, uh, yeah, the fucking, uh, the wires are just kinda, like, bent, into that little fucking in, like over here, right? They're, they're just kind of, they're just kind of down here, and then they go up and then back down into this chamber, and then they bend up and to the left, and then back down over this edge. Um, so they they go in there fairly securely, and they're just kind of snug fit in there. Um, but then I filled it with hot glue as well. Um, and, and then you just basically have these little wires here, which, which, uh, end up hitting the back of, of the things. Uh, and, and so it doesn't stop you from still using a 9-volt. 
In fact, uh, this may now be a, a 9 volt output um, with the 9 volt in it. It almost definitely is. Um, so, if, so if you need it, <laughs> so if, you, if you fucking, if you needed to fucking uh, use your multimeter with a 9 volt, but also power something else with a 9 volt, right, you just, you just kind of, um, negative up there, and then you, and then you have that, um, though this might actually be inverted now, because, uh, the, backwards, it might be, um, unsure. Uh, but the 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 the, 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 the point being, um, it could still take the nine volt battery, but it can also take a nine volt input. Uh, and I haven't tested both at the same time because you'd probably explode something. I don't know. I don't. Don't fucking mix two voltages without a goddamn resistor in the middle. I mean that's what you're doing, right? You're connecting ground to ground, and then like nine volts to like slightly different than nine volts, and that's not good. Um. Um, yeah, and, and so, uh, oh, right, so, so soldered on, and heat shrinked, and heat shrinked, and just kind of bent in there. Then the hot glue, uh, so, I don't have a hot glue gun, um, because I left it on, and it's even more rusted over than my old soldering iron. So, uh, so, what I do have is a bunch of hot glue sticks which I haven't used because my hot glue gun is broken, and I have a lighter, which I have turned up. I've turned up somewhat. It was bigger than this yesterday. Um, and so then, what, what you can, what you can, uh, uh, you, one, one. Yeah, so, uh, Basically, uh, what you can do, okay. yeah, so what you can do is, uh, you take your glue stick, right, or your hot glue stick, which is, you know, just a fucking cylinder of thermoplastic, um, uh, uh, there, yeah, you, so you take that, right, and then you, and then you fucking do this shit, and then you just kind of heat it up. Uh, ideally, you'd be doing this, uh, while rotating the thingy around, rather than the lighter, um, the, the glue, because, uh, it'll start dripping if you, if you focus on one area too much. And if you get it too hot right away, it'll, it'll start burning, which you don't really want. Um, and then... And then, you know, once you have that, then you can fucking take that glue stick with the melted end and just kind of wrap it in there. Um, I think I was too slow there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so basically what you do is you then take your melty ended glue stick and you just kind of fucking shove it in there and kind of pull it along. Um, and just, and just kind of stick it on, uh, and you can try to pull it and twist it to get it pulled away, and, uh, maybe just poke it a little, make sure it's sticking to both surfaces, and, uh, and there you go. You've now fucking hot glued your shit. <sighs> um, one pro tip, by the way. Wear a respirator. That's what I'm doing. That's why I sound like this. Uh, don't breathe in uh, the, the smoke from from burning and melting thermoplastic. Uh, that's a pro tip. Um, don't do that. Uh, over here, I, I did that a couple times, but it was hard to get it to melt in there properly. So I just kind of like held this over the flame and uh, and and had that melt a little bit. I heat it up and then flip it back over so that gravity would help it go down in. Um, and that's a pretty pretty solid bond actually. So so these wires just kind of stay there. 
uh, no matter how much they want to fall out. Um, and, and, and yeah, uh, why is this uh, video worthy? Well, uh, basically because I have fucking bipolar 2, and uh, if I don't have some evidence that I ever get anything done, it's very hard to get out of my depression phases. So, I, I really do need to document this fucking shit that I do when I'm manic more often. Because cause that way I can look back on it and say, oh yeah, right, uh, my depression has only actually been like two weeks now. And it hasn't actually been six months, which is what it feels like. Uh, and, and so actually, oh yeah, right, I am capable of accomplishing tasks occasionally. Uh, and, and, uh... You know, I can fucking make shit, and I can be happy, uh, and that's basically why I'm, why I'm fucking doing this, um, uh, thanks for watching? Oh, yeah, and, uh, by the way, so here's, here's a fun fact, um, you, you can, you can, uh, if you read in from dev urandom and read out to dev fb0 and then set the block size to whatever it errors out at, uh, and then count one and status none, uh, then you can make a cool thing like this, right? You're just writing random to the frame buffer, and then, and then you wrap that in a loop. And it does that. And I think that's a cool screensaver. You know, if you have an OLED or something, you can definitely prevent burn-in with that. Um, otherwise, I don't know why you do this. But, you know, hypothetically, you know, it it's it's a kind of cool screensaver. Maybe. I, I, I don't I don't know, dog. Uh uh um b bye.